The Berea of A-50, also known as the Mainstay, has been one of the most recognizable airborne early warning and control aircraft in the world for decades. By 2025, it has gone through several modernizations, transforming it from a Cold War Sentinel into a modern, networked command and control platform. Today, we'll explore every detail of the 2025 version of this legendary aircraft, understanding how it operates, what upgrades it has received, and why it continues to be such a critical asset for Russia's Air Force. This is EVN Ride bringing you another in-depth review, and this time, we step away from cars and bikes to cover one of the most important flying radars in the skies today. The Berea A-50 is based on the Ilyushin IL-76 transport aircraft, a heavy-lift four-engine jet that was originally designed to carry cargo and military equipment across long distances. When the Soviet Union first introduced the A-50 in the early 1980s, it was their response to Western airborne early warning aircraft like the American E-3 Sentry. Just like the Sentry, the A-50 featured a distinctive rotodome radar system mounted above its fuselage, instantly giving it a signature look. Fast forward to 2025, and the modernized versions of the A-50, especially the A-50U and the proposed A-100 upgrade, have kept that silhouette but transformed the aircraft's electronic capabilities entirely. What makes the A-50 so important? In the modern battlefield, information is power. Fighter jets, ground forces, naval units, and missile batteries all rely on a clear picture of the airspace to act effectively. The A-50 provides this capability by flying at high altitude and scanning hundreds of kilometers of airspace with its radar systems. By doing so, it can detect incoming threats, track multiple aircraft, and direct friendly forces with precision. The 2025 variant has dramatically improved radar range, target tracking, and communications compared to the original Cold War design. The heart of the aircraft is its Schmel-M radar system, mounted inside the rotating dome. Earlier versions of this radar had limitations, but the upgraded 2025 variant uses digital signal processing and modern phased array technology. This allows it to track up to 300 targets simultaneously and guide fighter aircraft toward hostile targets. The radar can see beyond the horizon compared to ground-based systems, making it a vital asset when dealing with stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, or drones that may try to slip through ground defenses. Inside the aircraft, the upgrades are even more significant. The early A-50s had outdated analog consoles and bulky screens. The 2025 model has a fully digitalized cabin with modern operator workstations, secure satellite communications, and real-time data sharing with both ground command centers and fighter aircraft. This makes the A-50 a true airborne command post, not just a flying radar. Operators inside the plane can coordinate air battles, monitor ground operations, and even assist in naval defense missions. The crew complement has also evolved. Traditionally, the A-50 carried around 15 crew members, including flight crew and radar operators. The modernized version has streamlined many tasks through automation, allowing operators to focus more on mission-critical decisions rather than technical adjustments. Improved ergonomics, upgraded avionics, and better climate control inside the aircraft make long missions more manageable for the crew. Performance-wise, the A-50 is still based on the IL-76 airframe, which is known for its robustness. With four Aviadvigatel D-30KP turbofan engines, it can reach speeds of around 800 km per hour and has a range of more than 5,000 km with aerial refueling extending that even further. While it isn't a stealth aircraft or a fighter jet, its job doesn't require it to be fast or agile. Instead, it must remain in the air for long durations, monitoring the skies and acting as the central nervous system of the Air Force. One of the biggest advancements for the 2025 A-50 is its ability to integrate into network-centric warfare. Modern battles are not fought in isolation, land units, naval forces, satellites, and aircraft must all share information seamlessly. The upgraded A-50 is designed to be a hub in this system, gathering data from its radar and other sensors, then relaying that information instantly to allies. In an era where drones, hypersonic weapons, and stealth fighters dominate military discussions, having such a command aircraft ensures that commanders never lose situational awareness. Another important point is how the A-50 compares to its Western counterparts. The U.S. 
Air Force's E-3 Sentry has been continuously upgraded and remains a powerful system, while newer platforms like the E-7 Wedgetail have emerged. The 2025 A-50 modernization allows Russia to remain competitive in this critical category of military aviation. Although the A-100 inches Premier, an even more advanced AWACS, has been planned, the upgraded A-50 remains the backbone of Russia's airborne surveillance fleet. From a strategic perspective, the A-50 is not just a radar plane, it's a force multiplier. Imagine a squadron of fighter jets operating without an airborne early warning aircraft. Their radar coverage would be limited by altitude and distance, forcing them to rely on ground control stations. But with an A-50 in the sky, those fighters can fly with near-complete awareness of enemy activity, giving them the tactical advantage. This is why militaries value these aircraft so highly and why Russia continues to upgrade its fleet. Looking closer at the modernization process, the A-50U upgrade program introduced new avionics, lighter equipment, and improved fuel efficiency, giving the aircraft longer endurance. The 2025 variant continues this path, integrating modernized communication suites, digital displays, and radar improvements. Each aircraft undergoes extensive refitting, ensuring that despite being based on an older airframe, it can meet the demands of modern warfare. The role of the A-50 in joint operations is another key factor. In Syria, for example, the aircraft was used to coordinate missions, track hostile aircraft, and provide surveillance over vast areas. In 2025, as geopolitical tensions continue, such aircraft are even more valuable. They not only protect national airspace but also extend a country's ability to project power abroad. Despite its importance, the A-50 is not without challenges. Its large radar dome makes it highly visible, and while it typically operates away from direct combat zones, it can be a high-value target for enemy fighters or long-range missiles. Protecting it requires escort fighters and strategic positioning. In the modern age of stealth technology, cyber warfare, and electronic jamming, keeping the A-50 relevant requires constant upgrades to its defensive and electronic systems. The defensive suite of the 2025 version includes electronic countermeasures, radar warning receivers, and flare dispensers to defend against missile threats. While it is not designed to be stealthy or invisible, its protection comes from the layers of defense surrounding it and the value it brings to the battlefield. Another fascinating aspect of the A-50 is its sheer presence. Whenever it takes off, it signals a serious military operation. Its large rotodome and the roar of its engines make it an unmistakable figure in the sky. To enthusiasts and spotters, seeing an A-50 is witnessing the core of Russia's airborne command. Capability. For adversaries, its appearance means that surveillance and coordination are now in play, changing the balance of the battlefield. By 2025, Russia operates several A-50 aircraft in different stages of modernization. Each upgrade not only extends the service life of the airframe but also ensures that these aircraft can continue performing well into the next decade. While the A-100 program aims to eventually replace them, delays and challenges have made the A-50 more important than ever. From a technological perspective, the transition from analog to digital systems inside the A-50 represents a massive leap. Operators can now process more data, communicate more securely, and share real-time intelligence faster than before. In an age where decisions must be made in seconds, these upgrades give commanders the confidence to act swiftly. What makes the A-50 especially interesting is its dual role as both a national defense asset and a global power projection tool. Domestically, it secures Russian airspace, detecting incoming threats long before they reach borders. Internationally, it provides a mobile command center, allowing Russia to coordinate missions far from home. Whether it's monitoring NATO air activity in Europe or overseeing operations in the Middle East, the A-50 plays a central role. Looking toward the future, the A-50's story is also one of adaptation. Aircraft designed in the late Cold War are still flying because their mission is irreplaceable. While drones, satellites, and advanced radars provide important capabilities, nothing can match the flexibility of an airborne early warning aircraft with trained operators making real-time decisions in the sky. For aviation fans, the A-50 is a symbol of endurance. Its rugged IL-76 airframe, combined with decades of modernization, proves that old designs